morning folks, thanks for joining me. Sunday, September 17th, back up in Kintail, gonna take on another two in rows. Uh, this one's usually done itself, sea stub, along with the corbette. So I'm gonna do the corbette first and then sea stub. But I'm gonna actually come off the other side and catch the one out the back of and Char Charlag, which I done back in March, which I got caught out with. Uh, a good day, but there was a lot of snow the night before and I done in my sacks and that, so I couldn't carry on the ridge. So I'm going to drop back down for sea stub onto that one. So I'll be straight up along the ridge and then come back down and I'll meet it back down the glen. Uh, coming back down here, side of Charag. Charag. This is the way we're heading up this morning. This takes you up over and onto the, the Corbett. So it's pretty much straightforward all the way to the top of the first one. Looking back down here, that's Glen Shield. Coming in, absolute stunning place this. It's this became one of my favourite places for, for walking. I love coming here now. I'm so glad I've still got the brothers and the sisters still to climb as well, so, so it gives me good excuses to come back. That's the Coney Inn just in here. Don't fully got to pick up the camera. Um I say I, I stayed maybe a couple of miles back at the car park. There was a lay-by there last night, but it's right on the road. So I stayed back at the, the car park, there's quite a few camper vans. It was quite cold last night up here in the glens. It's, the temperature's dropped right down even this morning. I've got my gloves on. So I had to get the heater on this morning, try and get a bit of heat in. But the, on the positive side, not one midgy, so hopefully this is a, the midgy season there and done me. I say, I've been up the, the east coast quite recently, up the Cairngorms, Glen Shee. So I've just decided now to take the chance, come back to the west coast, hopefully. All the clegs and midges and that have disappeared because it's sort of. It ruins your day sometimes, you're having a good walk, you're just getting a bit alive, it's, it takes the fun out of you. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a bit chillier now, that, that'll be my way. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep heading up and I'll catch in further up, probably towards the, the top of the first one, the Corbett. Uh, we'll see how it is for there, hopefully the views continue to be nice. I know later on it's to be a wee bit cloudy on that, so hopefully I can catch a bit of a sun this morning. So I'll catch in. Hi folks, just checking in. That's been made to the top of the, the Corbett. Uh, is that Amba Batak? Same. <laughs> no good with the pronunciations. Um, this one's just over, I think it's about 2,617 feet, I think. So, this is where we'll be heading on. Heading back down here and out up here on the sea stub. Um, after that, I'll be then probably, I think it's that shoulder there, we'll be going down. Right down to the, the Glen down there, that's where the path runs right through towards Glen Africa up through there. I'll be heading down to meet that and then I'll be taken back up. I think it might be this shoulder, one of these shoulders here. It takes you back up and then it's a ridge walk up to the, the second one row. As I say, this is the one I've done back in March, the big cairn at the top. That's the highest in Glen Shield. I'll not be taking that in the day because I've already done it, plus the bit coming back down the other ends. Pretty slippy and that's been a lot of rain the last few days. So I'll probably maybe just drop back down the way that I go up and catch the path that takes you back down onto the wee road that takes you all the way back to the main road as well. So that, that's my sort of route I'll be going the day. Uh, this is one of the brothers here. I think that might be why the other one's out there as well. And obviously the other one's further back. And, but aye, this is... 
really it's a lot different for the last few weeks I've been up at Glen uh, here in Gorms so back into the mere sort of these are a bit more rugged say the Cairn Gorms and Glen Sheen that are mere big rounded hills so it's a bit it's a bit good to mix it up and get back into the mere rugged hills the views I think the views are a lot better so that's looking back around like the South Glen Shield Ridge as well it's quite clear today aye it's great great views so I'm just going to keep going and I'll I'll get, catch in probably back to uh, see stub I got up there. Okay. That's a fair old drop. <laughs> Just came off the, the corbette there. Just came straight down there. So I've lost quite a bit of height again to gain. Gonna be going back up <coughs> up my shoulder here, right up to see stub. You can see the top of the sea up there, it's quite, quite jaggy and pointed. And looking across to our second one out there, you can actually see a bit of the ridge now. The sort of jagged teeth edge ridge. Looking quite forward to getting onto that as well, since I missed it the last time. Aye, been a good wee walk here the Corbett anyway. I say, you don't need to do the Corbett, I think there's a path comes up this side. And you can come up the Glen that side as well. Uh, and a path comes up and meets it. So you can bypass it, you don't need to do it, but I just thought I'd take it in. It's another Corbett in as well, so. Well, I'm just going to keep heading on up, try and get up to the top of Sea Stub. I say, I don't know what the weather's to be like later on, it's still a bit cloudy and that, but I know later on in the afternoon it's to be some rain, so try and get on as quick as I can. Try and get the better weather this morning. So I'll catch in a wee bit, okay? Yeah. Folks, just checking in. I've just came off the tope, see Stu, which is just up here. Uh, you can probably hear it now, it's quite gusty the wind. And this is just sort of looking down the other side of the, the seat, see Stu, it was running back up these cliff edges. So I'm going to be heading there, the shoulder and down. Uh, as I say, I'm going to be heading out to the, the other one, which is just pointing at the side here. So it's quite a drop back down and back up. Um, I want to try and get there as quick as because I know the weather's to start changing and the rain and that's to come. So we'll try and get earlier, doing them back up as quick as possible. That was uh, the Corbett out there that we've done this morning. So I've come up from right around and onto the top. See, the views are absolutely brilliant up here, but the weather's it's gradually changing. You can actually feel these bits of rain now. This is looking at, uh, I'm sure this Ben Fader and the Five Sisters. It's a bit of air here, the ridge. Looking back into Glen Afric, down here, the, the hostel down there as well. Oh, the views are cracking. I just wish it was a bit uh, not as windy again, get the, the drone up, but I've not been having much luck recently with the, the winds. But I'm going to head over and say, try and get down here as quick as possible and start on the second one because the winds are getting up as well. Hi 
Hi folks, just about out of breath here. Uh, this is a, there's a wee path runs right through here, which I'll come back to doing, it? it takes me back out to the van at the lay-by, but it runs right through to the, the youth hostel, it's in the Glen. I basically just come right down off um, Kishdu, which is up here. So I've come right down this shoulder here. It's quite steep coming down it, right enough. Right down across. And now we're going to be basically heading straight up this, this shoulder here. And then going this way up the ridge, up to the top up here. So that's the next objective. <laughs> and then I'll be back here and done and meet this path again. So just thought I'd catch in there. I've not done much coming down there. It's starting to rain and it's quite slippy and that. So I'll do a wee bit once I get further up again. So it's a big grassy slope, this one as well. I start getting higher up. So catch in again. Just a wee check in. That's me just at the, the ridge here. I'm going to actually take the bike pass path because it's just been raining and these rocks are hell of a slidey. So I'm not taking any chances today. So I'm just going to go back down over this wee bypass path. It comes run and comes back up. Bypasses this wee bit. There's no point taking chances. The, the wind's getting high and uh, it's been raining as well, so it's quite slippy. So I've just got to make a way run and I'll catch in at the top. folks just a check in that's me I'm at the top of the, the segment row uh, big cairn here so it's been a bit of a slog coming up there and the weather changed the way up as well so it's been raining all the way up uh, I've made my way up the gully so I didn't even fancy taking one of the wee pinnacle bits in the ridge here I see the rocks are really really slidey so I don't like to take chances uh, I'm up here myself and there's a few people up earlier but they're away again so don't like taking chances. So I'm going to sit and get a wee bit to eat, uh, eat. and then I'll, I'll be heading back down. So there's no point in waiting about in this weather. So I think the day will be a tale of two hours. The first bit of the day was quite good, got good views, so hopefully that'll make up for this one. As I say, I've not done a lot of footage coming up this one. It'd have been great to get footage and the drone and everything that bit of the ridge, but one of the days. So this is the one that got away from me the last time I couldn't get in, so I'm glad I managed to get it in. That's this one out the way. It's a way in out the way. Oh, the day's been quite hard. It's been straight ups and straight downs. Plus, the second drop there between the two main roads was right back down to about three to four hundred metre. Then on the way back up. So it's been a hard slog. So I look forward to getting back down there. So I'm just going to take a wee break uh, and head down. If I can get any footage in the way down, I will. I say it's no great the weather. You can't really see anything. So I'll leave it there now. Okay. So I'll be checking folks, that's me back down between the two main rows where I came down this morning came down that, this shoulder here right down there, we came across and then right up and up round, round to the right and up onto the, the ridge and then up to the left onto the second main row quite a hard slog today I say we've dropped into about 300 metres, 300-400 metres I think here so I've just basically come back down the same path as I went up this one because the weather was coming in up there and it was pretty wet and uh, clagged in so 
I wasn't even a chance kind of lying there, I ginned her up and down again, further back. So I just came back down here and I'm just joining back onto the this is the path that goes back out to the where the van is at the lay by and it goes that way as well to the, the hostel. I say that was uh, the first moon row see do this morning and that was uh, the Corbett up here. Uh, and that was the first piece that I thought we came out to get to that. So basically we just need to head back out, catch a wee road and it takes us straight out, so it's pretty straightforward. So I'll see if there's anything I can put on camera I'll do it, but as I say it's been pretty clogged in and the weather's totally changed. I'm hoping I've got enough footage for the first two parts of the day um, that might make up the footage, make it a bit better. As I say this one's just been a bit of a wash out, I've not really done much on it, just get soaked. <laughs> so. I'm just going to make my way along, back to the van. I say if I get anything else I'll put it on, but uh, if I don't then I'll see you in the next one, wherever that might be. Okay.